Have you ever heard of a god who literally forged the heavens and earth? A celestial blacksmith who wielded the power of fire and lightning? Well, buckle up mythology buffs, because today we're diving into the legend of Sverig, the supreme Slavic deity. Sverig wasn't just any god. He was the big cheese, the top dog, the El Gif of the Slavic pantheon. Picture a grizzled blacksmith with a booming voice and a beard that could rival Zeus himself. Legends say he emerged from a primordial egg, cracking open the universe and birthing all creation. Yeah, pretty hardcore origin story. As the god of the sky, fire, and craftsmanship, Sverig was responsible for some pretty epic stuff. He hammered out the sun and the stars, crafted the first tools, and even taught humanity how to work metal. Talk about a handy DIY deity. But Sverig wasn't just a benevolent creator. He was also a fierce warrior, wielding a mighty hammer that could unleash devastating lightning strikes. Some stories even depict him battling a monstrous serpent, much like Thor and Jormungandr in Norse mythology. Now, when it comes to Sverig's family life, things get a bit, complicated. Slavic mythology isn't always crystal clear. Some tales say he fathered the sun god Dasbog, while others claim he was the husband of Mother Earth herself. But here's the real kicker, some legends claim Sverig actually retired. After creating the world, he passed the torch, or maybe the hammer, to other deities, like Purin, the god of thunder. Now, that's one way to take a long vacation. Alright, mythology buffs, buckle up for the epic top moment. Sverig's legacy isn't just about creation myths. He's deeply woven into Slavic culture. Blacksmiths across the region revered him as their patron, and many Slavic holidays celebrated fire and metalworking, reflecting Sverig's influence. Even today, his name pops up in various languages, with the Russian word for, to forge, Sverig, directly linked to our blacksmithing deity. Now, compared to his Greek and Norse counterparts, Sverig might not be a household name in the West. But his story offers a fascinating glimpse into a rich and vibrant mythology. Sverig reminds us of the power of creation, the importance of craftsmanship, and the enduring human fascination with the sky and its fiery inhabitants. Did you know Sverig's fiery spirit has even made its way into video games? From Honkai Star Rail to Final Fantasy XVI, this Slavic deity is leaving his mark on the digital world. So, the next time you're battling a boss named Sverig in your favorite game, you'll know exactly who you're facing, a powerful blacksmith god with a legacy that stretches back centuries. So that's the story of Sverig, the supreme Slavic deity. If you enjoyed this journey into Slavic mythology, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more epic tales. Maybe Sverig isn't quite as retired as the legends make him seem. Whispers from the deepest corners of Slavic folklore hint at a more, active role for the old blacksmith god. Some scholars believe Sverig retreated not to idleness, but to a deeper plane of existence. From this hidden realm, he might still be watching over humanity, his hammer poised to strike in times of great need. Is Sverig a benevolent protector, a fiery judge, or something else entirely? The truth, like the embers in a blacksmith's forge, might be waiting to be rekindled. This ambiguity is what makes Sverig so fascinating. Unlike the clear-cut heroes and villains of some mythologies, he's an enigma, a god shrouded in smoke and sparks. Perhaps that's why his spirit resonates with modern audiences. In a world of uncertainty, the idea of a powerful, yet unpredictable deity watching over us is strangely comforting. So, the next time you gaze at the stars, remember Sverig, the Slavic blacksmith god. He might be a relic of the past, but his legacy continues to inspire artists, gamers, and anyone who appreciates the power of creation and the enduring mystery of the heavens. What are your thoughts on Sverig? Do you think he's a benevolent protector or a force to be feared? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, 
Be sure to check out our other videos exploring the fascinating world of mythology. Until next time, keep exploring the myths and legends that shape our world.